go shake this for about one minute. What's up fam? Welcome back to Fam Life TV. Today we're transforming this table into this beautiful, beautiful, elegant table. And so let's go ahead and get started. Step one is stripping the table. So today we're going to be scraping some stripper off of a table. Look how satisfying this is. And yes, Dom is right, it is satisfying. And that's because we're using the quick strip paint and varnish stripper. Um, this removes all of the color and finish off the top of the table so we can finish it with a different stain. You guys are gonna love this process. So we're gonna get right back into it. So you wanna apply the stripper with a paintbrush right onto the tabletop. And then you wanna wait 15 minutes before you start this process right here, going in straight lines. Oh, Next, we're using clean strip afterwash. What you wanna do is pour this into a small container, dip a stripping pad into the liquid, and then rub it back and forth with the grain. Step two, you're gonna paint the apron of the table along with the legs. All right, now I'm just going around the table applying paint with the, using the Wagner power sprayer. As you can see, um, everything looks pretty good. Everything looks nice and elegant, even coats, even layers. As you can see, I'm really, I really like how it's starting to turn out. Um, when you're using, using your gun, just make sure you're using even strokes left to right, and just make sure everything looks nice and even. And as I scroll around, it really looks good. Yes, it really does look good. As you see, we flipped the table over. Look at the legs, he did a great job. And here's the table top after we use the stripper and the afterwash. Just look at the sun reflect off of it. I am so proud of this project so far. Next, we're getting ready to do a little bit more with the chairs. Take it over, Matt. Thanks, Rizzy. Now we have step three, which is painted the chairs. All right, before we paint the chairs, we must remove the cushion, but first, you have to unscrew it. Let's go, follow me. Now we must add liquid sandpaper to our chair so we can better paint it. The liquid sandpaper is used to kind of scruff up the surface so that the paint will stick better. All right, so just follow me. And of course, we're not looking for perfection. We just want to, you know, cover the surface of the chair. Doesn't have to, it doesn't even have to be nice and even. Just cover the surface. Wipe it away with a towel and see the results. All right, now we're gonna apply paint to our chair using nice even strokes. And we are definitely looking for perfection at this point here, okay? Also, while I'm painting, remember to uh, view the link below for more information on our, on our Wagner Power Painter. Um, this is really my first time using this, using this tool, this gun. I'm starting to get more comfortable with it, but I'm still not completely used to it. Step four, reupholster the chair cushions. All right, so here's one of our chair cushions that Max so kindly removed for me. And I just wanna show you the fabric from Walmart. This is just some linen fabric from Walmart that I'm gonna to use to reupholster the chair. And then here I have my scissors and my boss stitch staple gun. And this is a dust cover that we're gonna use for the bottom. Okay, so you wanna place the fabric underneath the cushion on a table and just cut about three inches away from the cushion on each side just to give yourself some space to work. So I'm cutting all the way around here. And then I'm just getting it straight. We're gonna take our boss stitch staple gun and on each side, we're gonna start from the middle. So you wanna do a staple right in the center. Okay. And then the entire process, you really wanna make sure you're smoothing out the fabric. So now you see me going back to remove the original fabric. 
I realized that I missed that step. <laughs> so you see me doing that there. All right, and the reason you wanna remove the original fabric is number one, you don't know what type of dust or odors are coming from that original fabric. So you want this chair to be nice and clean and new. Also, you can see through it. So the striped fabric, we could definitely see straight through it uh, with our linen. So you, we started this process over. So here you see me once again, starting from the center with staples and then smoothing out my fabric each time I get to a corner. And then you wanna staple from the center and go out to the corner. And then here you wanna fold in and pull pretty tightly. Fold it over, make it nice and neat, and then staple once again. Make sure you're smoothing out the fabric. Go all the way around and look at our finished product. It looks so good. All the way around, look at it. And it doesn't have to be perfect at the bottom because we're gonna put a dust cover on at the end. So, but just to make it look a little better, I'm going to cut off these edges hanging off right now. Again, the dust cover is going on later. No worries there. So I'm pretty happy with this. This is also my first chair reupholstering. Just like Mac was saying earlier, this was his first with the spray gun. So this is a really new project for us that any beginner can do. All right, right here we have our finished seat cushion. And like I said before, we don't have to worry about the bottom because we're going to put a cover on the bottom of the actual chair and you'll see that step later. So now we're gonna see what it looks like on our chair. Obviously we're gonna screw this in, but let's see. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I hope you guys do too. So as you can see, the color goes perfectly with this white. So this is like a linen fabric that we got right from Walmart. And I love the color with the white because you can see that white undertone in there. And then you see the specks of the darker brown, which will go nicely with our stained tabletop. So if you like this, go ahead and comment right now. The video's not over yet, keep watching. But go ahead and comment and like and subscribe right now, do it. And uh, the table's coming up next. Okay fam, now we are at step five, which is applying the stain to our table. Please comment down below to tell us what your favorite brand of stain is. For our table, we use the Golden Pecan, or Golden Pecan, depends on how you feel, stain by Minwax. It's pretty easy to apply the stain. Only thing you have to do is just go with the grain. Or sometimes you don't even have to go with the grain. Just, just cover the table. <laughs> And you still get great results. Look at that. Nice and shiny, mirror finish. That's beautiful. Can't wait to eat off this table. Look at that. Whew. Hey, comment below. Let me know what you think. Yes, and since he just finished bragging about his table, I just gotta show off this chair once again. Look at how good the reupholstering job is. Oh my gosh. So I realized right now as I'm talking that Matt did way more work than me. Sure did. But what I want you guys to do is comment below, hashtag Team Rizzy or hashtag Team Mac. Who do you think put in the best work on this table set? Let us know. But I mean, overall, no matter who wins, Look at this. I mean, it's just, that's just beautiful. I, I think we did good work. All right, so before we go, we wanna show you some of our upcoming videos. King. First, we have a video of King. King. <laughs> and we were looking for his new bed. So we'll show you the whole story of how we found King his new bed. Sit down, King. All right, and then we went to Myrtle Beach wow, for our- Wow, that's a big bear. I, I know, for our holiday vacation. Look at us in Myrtle Beach, it was so much fun. Have a seat. And guess what happened in Myrtle Beach? Hey, will you marry me? Oh, of course. So I cannot wait to tell you guys the story of how Mac proposed. Once again, this is Fam Life TV. Don't forget, 
like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to turn that notification button on.